everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So it has been a, quite a long time since I've recorded an episode for these guys. thought it was about time we get back into it. I've been like super busy the past little while. Uh, major life changes and things like that. Uh, work going going nuts again. But um, yeah, let's just get right into the battle now. I'm going to record another episode of the Duelist, but you'll probably see that before this one, even though the mechs aren't back yet. Uh, I'll wait for them to be back and Vengeance to be back because there is a um, half skull mission which you'll see. That's all there is. Unfortunately, this uh, this um, time through, but we are going to go ahead and take a uh, two skull mission today with the Royals. Now we got all the mechs back. I didn't make any changes to them. They're kind of the same loaded as the last time, but we'll see what that what that is when we get into battle. And I think um, since it's like the middle of the month. And we've got a second lance. I'm going to go full salvage on this one. This one. Now, it's, we're defending against Diamond Shark at two skulls, so it could be an interesting battle. Uh, the Zoria can come down, and we can bring a Thunder down. And I think we're ready to go. Let's get right into this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. This isn't actually too bad of a position to defend. Uh, looks like they're right on top of us already. Looks like a pair of Clint's and a Locust, maybe? Um, now, where do we want to drop? We got turrets. We got two vehicles down there. We should probably drop close to them, because otherwise they're going to trash those vehicles and we won't have turrets. So, we're going to need to get... Oof. Uh, to a position where they can't see us, but we can move out and shoot rather quickly. I think right here, maybe? How close? Hey. It's not giving me the option to... There we go. I was probably just too far forward. Alright, we're going to drop in here. There we go. Only got six of us. That's all there is. All right. Standing by. So we got a thorn, and we know there's two guys like right here. Let's get to here. Roger. Full speed. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like we got some good initiative. So there's a Clint. That guy's missing. There's three Clints. Looks like they're all the same. That guy's got an open, not open CT, but a hit CT. That guy's got a torso damage. What are you at here? Halfway. Looks like you got some leg internal damage. And you've got some damage to the arm. I think we're going to target this guy. Oof. Doesn't really matter, does it? Doesn't really matter, does it? So much for spawn protection, huh? Wow. No, not that guy. This guy. If we get lucky and get some CT hits, you never know. Yeah, it's just fire. I copy. Ooh, yeah. Yes! Probably not what we wanted though, but... What do we hit? Torso. And I think we hit the Locust. We did, we opened up his torso. Nice! What? No! Alright, Tugboat. Field Command. Um... You need to get a little closer because you've got... Pulse lasers. Let's get into here and generate some evasion. I got a feeling these guys are going to be going after the vehicles anyway, first turn. What do we got back here? Prowler. Not bad armor. You'll probably survive, but you're slow. Polymos is super fast and lots of armor. Okay. So should they should be fine. They should make it to the out point. We're going to fire at the same guy. See if we can capitalize. LB-10X. Are these guys all the same? They're probably all LB-10s, right? You got a... Two smalls and a medium pulse. LB-10X. LB-10X. Yep. Alright, let's just go after this guy. You're 
we hit the locust too. At least it sounds like we did. Yeah, we did a fair bit of damage to that locust. Didn't really do anything to this guy, but the locust enjoyed it. That's gotta, like, they gotta do something about that. Like, that's a really high percentage chance to hit the guy behind. You figure we got 17% to hit the guy in front, and somehow it's, like, ridiculously high to hit the guy behind him. Alright, we're gonna bring you into here. Bringing you into here. Do we try for the kill in the locust? We might get the torso. What is it on this Clint? A little better. Let's see if we can get the torso. Was I hitting the Clint there? Target's taking a critical hit. I don't know. It's hard to tell when those numbers were popping up. But yeah, I still think the uh, the chance for head hits and those collateral hits are a little high, but whatever. High on both. I mean, I'm seen to be hit my guys a fair bit as much as I hit their guys <laughs> in collateral damage. That's fine. You can move forward, are you? Ballsy move. Ballsy move. We gotta bring at least two. Or two or three of these guys down before the reinforcements arrive or it's going to get real bad. Hopefully we got good turrets here. What do we got? Thumper turret. That, that could be good. Medium turrets. Probably got medium lasers. Another medium turret. It's almost de destroyed. We don't got much to defend. Alright. Let's get into Destructor range. Get into Destructor range. 18, huh? A little better on this Clint. 16. Let's take a shot at this guy. If we miss, we might hit the other guy. I don't know. We might kill this guy too if we hit him. Uh, yep. Yeah, I've got his right side anyway. Reporting critical hit. Unstable. Good. I mean, we've only got vehicles left, but they might be able to finish him off. We'll see. At least our... I mean, the Polymos with all those machine guns might be able to do some damage to him. Get a few crits in there. Get that engine crit. These guys aren't doing much. Receiving you. Our derby... Can you get into here? These guys may just be going right for the base. Normally they go after the vehicles. We got 800 rounds of ammo. All right, just gonna fire straight at this guy. Uh, we could hot load it. Let's hot load it and see what happens. Yes. Nice. Good damage. Well, good damage for his loadout. You know what I mean. That's just the thorn, right? Is this the ER alert or a large version? I don't know. Find out in a second. LRM5. Yep. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Love and Thunder. Let's get up here. Uh, who do we want now? I don't know, but we got a couple guys in line here. And we got a mortar, so it should uh, spill over into all of them. For once, it's not me uh, all bunched up. Ah, eh, not bad. All right, hammer them with machine guns, baby. 
Nope, apparently not. Wow, our initiative is just tanked. Somehow, even with Tugboat, our initiative tanked. Oh well. One of the Clintses first? Is that... Yeah. The guy at the back here. At least these things aren't too heavily armored. Oof. A shot. Good thing these flameless has got lots of armor. Alright, tugboat. Uh yep. Okay. What's up, yo? Seventy six. That's a lot better on this guy. How's your back armor looking? Pretty low. Even lower now. Targeting. Or nice. Didn't expect that. Pass the armor. We're super heated now, though. It's fine. It was worth it. Totally worth it. The Viper might be able to get a, a follow-up kill on that guy. Yeah, if we can have three of these guys down by the time the enemy shows up, that'll be 12 against 6, 2 to 1 odds, which is pretty good for us. I don't see it being a problem. We should be able to pull this one Clint down here this turn for sure, and might get another one. Yeah, like this guy should go down pretty quick, I think, once we get the Viper behind him. He's pretty much toast. I should probably focus on that thorn too, that might be a quick kill. Depends on well he didn't move very far. Ready to get it on. Not the best, is it? Forty on this guy. I think we're saving the back strike, so let's get onto the side of this guy, I think. Can we get Still the same, but let's get into here. Heading out. We're just gonna walk it. I wanna see if we can take the arm of the Clint. Like, I mean, if, if we can't kill them, if we can pull the arms off with the LBXs, like, they don't have a lot of armor. Locked on. Alright, not bad. We hit with half. Come on, baby. Go right into this thing. Go right in. Go right in. Go right. Yes. Now we just need to stay the fuck away from these clints because that thumper is going to... Hopefully he shoots at this guy. Because I got a feeling we're taking splash damage. No way we can avoid that. Alright, they go before the rest of us. So let's see what they do here. Was it 14 now? Yeah. What are you up to? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Are you the damaged guy? You are too. I hear you. Standing by. You need to go after. That's a full sprint, huh? Yeah, nah. I think I want to wait for the Viper to go. Let's they they're done, so let's reserve. What's your shot? What turret shot? This guy? Standard Oh. Was it that guy that shot? I think it was. Yep, it was. Man, that could have been bad. Yes, Commander. Alright, um... Let's get to here. Moving to position. Let's get the kill shot on this guy. Uh, and I think we go with... How badly damaged is he? Hmm...
Let's save some ammo off these guys. Go a little... Actually, let's leave these off. We'll just go with the medium improved. Firing on target. There we go. Smoked one. Nice. Ooh, that guy's got a large laser. Okay, nice. I should have known it's the clans. Receiving you. Alright, we need to like keep our vehicles close, I think, now. Let's move you over here. Roger. Let's take a shot at this guy. Confirm. Fire That hunter doesn't do much. I mean, it's just a target on the map. Ooh, nice. Now, do I finish that guy off, or do I go after one of the other Clint's? He's a good question, yes? All right, Mr. Prowler, what are you up to? Thorn. Ooh, nice. Yeah, let's go after the Thorn. He's unstable now. With the, We'll go after that with the Zoya. What can I do for you? Get into here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. And yep. All weapons are go. Nice. There goes his leg. Yeah. So I mean, we could theoretically get the kill on him next turn. He's not the main concern, though. Ready for orders. Now, um. Or do we try for it now? That's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's try for it now. I'm just going to move over here. I want to try and give them a little bit more line of sight to the buildings, so hopefully they don't shoot at me and I can just focus on... Uh, drop a little bit of heat here. I think that should be more than enough to kill this guy. So I can just focus on their backs. Just with the large, it sucks. But that's enough to kill. Target eliminated. Okay, three and two turns. Not Let's bad. Go. Round three. Let's go. I'm picking up a new sensor. Of course trace. you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Where are they dropping it? Back there. Perfect. Now I just have to worry about where the other lance is. Probably over here. Or it could be like it could be anywhere really. They could all be over here. Find out soon enough. They go on 22. We may be able to smoke these two clints this turn. Because those guys are far enough away to not worry about them too, too much. So what do we got? A mongoose, huntsman, a locust, a falcon... And a Jenner 2C, which has got streaks, which could be dangerous. So you have to be careful about that guy. And then... You guys? Oh, they're over here. Firefly, Jenner 2C, Bandit. We want that. If we can get Bandit parts, that would be nice. What's this guy? Plasma Cannon. Oh, I haven't seen this configuration before. Two AP Gauss Rifles and a 2 Streak. That's actually not bad. And a Hunchback 2C with an Ultra 20. Well, at least they got to get past the walls to get to the building, so we can focus on these guys for now. Hey. All right. Um, do I want to reserve this? Actually, that's not bad. Oh boy, here That gets we me go. out of sight of those guys. Six, the same. Let's target this guy. We're going to turn some of these off. we got to drop some major heat here. We'll just fire the two, I think. Alright, five hits. That's really nice. How do we do? We exposed the structure on one side. Yeah, I almost took the CT. Nice. Uh, we're going to reserve Smirk. Um, I want to see what these two Clints do. Like I said, if we can pull these two clints down this turn, that that gives us more options, right? 
because right now they're in the center of everybody. Right? So because they're in the center of everybody, it limits where we can move. Once these two clints are cleared, then we can either focus on the left side or the right side. It's going to be a tricky one because the bandit's got a fair amount of armor. It's relatively fast. I don't know if they're going to try and blow through these or what. We may have to pull back to here. But either way, once these two guys are gone and this area is clear, we're free to move where we want. At least he's got heat on him. Oh, he can see the tall building? I guess so. They got range too, and he's overheating. Hopefully the thumper decides to shoot for him. Interesting. That's the what? Prowler is not very fast. Fireflies actually have decent speed. Hunchback's pretty slow. It's a 4-6. But the bandit's like an 8-12, I think. It might not be, though, because of the loadout. It might actually be a little slower. 7-11, maybe, or 7-10. Okay, we're not going to get away with saving all the buildings in this one. I've pretty much come to terms with that, and that's okay. It's just volume, right? At two skulls, it's a little... Like, I mean, we're fairly matched at two skulls because they've got to... Like, they're going to focus on buildings, right? So they're not shooting me, which means it gives me free reign to kill them, but, you know, it's like the amount of armor they have, it's... For my loadouts, it's a little hefty. I mean, we've pulled three guys down in two turns, so... Wait, we're on round four? So three and three turns? Wait a minute, wait. First turn we pulled down the Clint. Or no, first turn we moved in, second turn we pulled down the Clint, right? Third turn, we, yeah, that's right. The Thorn and the other Clint. Or, yeah. Or the Thorn, yeah, you know what I mean. Locust. Lo Locust turn two. Clint and the Thorn on turn three. I mean, you guys watch, you know what I Sorry. It seems to be going by real fast for me. That's why I'm like misplacing turns here. So round four, I mean, it's a little better. I mean, one turn closer to finishing. But they do, I think, if they do push the buildings, they do have firepower enough to, to make me lose this battle. Their positioning puts them in a in precarious position Standing now. By. On it. Their positioning puts them in a precarious position. Okay, I can't fire the ER large this turn. We had we haven't hit this guy's back, but we gotta do it anyway, so well, let's just go for it. We got both guys lined up here, so target lock on enemy six. A little bit of overspill. Nice. Yeah, I think we can take both these guys this turn. Critical hit. I think we can do it. Just gotta be able to maneuver behind them. Fuck. Structure has been destroyed. Yeah. Hopefully he can't see too much more. Or else we just lost. <laughs> There's not much we can do about that guy. Not from where we are. Yeah, we gotta once we once we pull these two clints down, we gotta retreat back to here. It's gonna be a weird match. Like, I think they can probably hit this building from outside. But then they gotta get around. So we're gonna have to defend in here. Ooh. Nice shooting, man. Nice shooting. Who was that? Huntsman. Was it? No. Who had the ballistic? Was it the Huntsman? What was he firing? Oh, Ultra 2. Here we go. That's a pretty big loadout. Alright. Well, you're standing in fire, so... Locking in coordinates. Uh, yep. Locked on. Enough? Yep, enough. One left target. 
Okay. We're making headway, but they still got the firepower, so that, that huntsman's got to go next, I think. All right, shooting for the quad gun. Commander. Ooh, I can't get where I want. Maybe we go after the huntsman. Damn. Um, let's hold off for a second. I want to see what our hunter and Zoria can do against this Clint. If we can clear him with both those two, then I can just start bringing him back. We got to kill that huntsman though. It's got, it's like too overpowered. The Jenner is pretty scary too. I don't know what this guy's heat's like. I hear you. Okay, you got a mortar. Ready for orders. Nope. Where do we have to be for the LRM to work the best? Kind of like right there. Aye, aye. We're getting farther away from where we really want to be, but uh, I'm going to turn these all the way up. If they jam, they jam, but we need to try and get a kill here. We are armor. Guess not. What can I do for you? That's full speed, huh? Pedal to the metal. Well, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. This should not cluster at this range. It should just be solid shot. This should be good. Yep. Not enough. Another hit like that, and you're. Yes, it is. Excellent. All right, full lance pulled down in four turns. Not bad. Those guys are kind of sitting around outside the base, so maybe we take a turn to go after this uh, hunter. Uh, what is it? What, hunter? Huntress? Huntsman. That's pretty beefy armor. It's going to require a lot to pull him down, I think. Although this locust is uh, kind of out in the open here. Maybe we go after him. Who are you shooting? The Huntsman. Okay. Thank you for the damage. Where are you? Oh, you're just floating around back there. Yes, keep adding the fire. That is probably going to save our ass, I think, in the long run. Uh, I'm going to vigilance this. Try and get ahead of them next turn. God, terrible chance to hit. 40% of the mongoose. Let's pull up here to see what we can do. Maybe we just shoot the APs. Oh, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. Yeah, we gotta drop some heat. Gonna try for some crits here. No retreat. Nice. See you to that Four side. Critical hit. Fuck you! Fully unstable and he never fell over, but now he's going to fall over. Open him up for the turrets is what we did. Yeah, I'm loving that loadout though, AP Goss Rifles. That's pretty brutal, I gotta say. That's a pretty brutal loadout. I never thought that that oh, no. volume would have such be like so successful. Alright, now I gotta decide what we're going to do here. Uh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to reserve. I want to see what they do. How is it when we reserve our initiative is higher? Uh, anyway, I know it's random rolls. It's all luck of the draw, but still. We'll see what we'll see what happens here. If some of them move forward, the Clint's got a good chance to do some good damage here. So we'll take it. But I want to see the Clint maybe the cleanup on the guy on the ground, the Huntsman here. He's in bad. He's in a really bad 
way. Like, I mean, he hasn't taken that much damage, but still, it's like he's in a bad spot right now. We can finish him off this turn. Yeah, they're going to be heating up pretty quick here. Yes, Commander. Okay, I say we pull slowly move back this way. I'm going to walk it, though. Moving out. Sentinel's got long range. I'm okay with that. But we're going to pull it back this way just because I, I think we can kill two or three of these guys and then work on absorbing the attack from that side. But I think I want to go after him. And I think we're going to drop... I mean, we could try and take the arm off. Um, we don't know what's in the arm, do we? Could just try for a plink, plink a head hit. 60% is pretty good. But I'm going to hold on to those thunderbolts because I, I think I have a feeling we may have to engage that hunchback, in which case I'm going to need those. So let's hold those Copy two. That. Wow, we only got one shot on him. Orders. All right, now. You're overheating. Let's get back here. On the move. I think I want to I think I want to uh threaten these guys a little more here. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, let's just randomly go for a headshot here. We might get it, we might not, but I'm going to fire this. We're going to drop a little more heat so we can move be, move be a, a little bit more mobile next turn. On. A little bit of pain and that a head hit. Nice. Oh, he's gone. Did we... I'd be interested to see what that was all about. We didn't destroy the head, I don't think. Wow, those APs were... That's nasty. That's nasty. Alright. Okay, he's coming around. That puts me... Receiving you. Let's get out of a... Actually, do I want to push this guy and just get some... Like, get a flamer on him, maybe? I mean, the LRM's not going to hit. Like, we might be able to, like... Oof. Nah, because our, our artillery is going to fire. Let's pull back here. we got to start getting around to the front of the building. If we don't, then we're going to have issues. 2.9. 10, that's not bad. Take this shot. Locking on target. Nothing. Nothing. Negative damage. Yep, I see that. Just your vision range. It's they're outside your vision range. Man, the one thing we're missing for, for this playthrough is a lot of electronics. We just don't have it. I'm finding it really difficult to find like bolt-ons too in clan space like I can't find even bolt-on rockets like they just don't exist out here or at least I haven't been able to see them not in the store at all so which by the way I haven't checked the store after the month ticked over so I should probably check it I mean we haven't done any traveling really like only a couple planets but still we haven't found anything like that so because we can certainly use it I think there's only we only got like a handful of bolt-ons Okay, what are you doing? Oof. The love and the wavering. Armor blow through. Internal damage. Yeah, we gotta find out where that is. Where is that though? Arm. ER large, ER small and small pulse. Let's not uh, lose that arm then. Um Ready for orders. Wait, what arm was that? right arm okay so we got to keep the right kind of have it turned away from them already so back up to here keep our left side on them if we can 
Now, who's going to take it? This guy? Yeah, it looks like it. I think the Jenner is probably dangerous. ER Large is coming back on. Thumper we can leave off. Locking on top. Nice large, large hit. I think it was a leg hit. Did we expose structure in two locations or just the one? Just the leg. Okay. Okay. Possibility to pull that leg. If we're able to take the leg, then uh, on you, he's dead. He will be officially dead if we take that leg. Let's move here. And yep. Firing everything I've got. Okay, a couple hits in the leg. A little bit of extra damage. Unstable. More where that came from. Which means that our turret should probably shoot at him. With the large laser. This guy's probably got like what? Half his leg left on the internals? Yeah. So that's the Jenner. This guy just moved forward this turn, so he's got maybe four or five turns before he's around the front of the building. So he might be effectively out of the match here. Yeah, you keep heating up, buddy. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, we'll take care of him in a minute. Hey. Gonna walk it over here. Copy. Slightly better chance to hit when we're walking. I think we can afford to uh, go all out here. See if we can pull that leg and get hey. lucky. I think so. Or we just take the whole side. That works. That looked like. And get a knockdown. So one pilot wound from the torso, one from the knockdown. Uh, I guess it doesn't count. Sure. Or he must have resisted one. That's fine. But being on the ground just puts him in trouble. Hopefully the thumper shoots for him. Hopefully the lasers shoot for him. That bandit seems to be moving pretty slow over here. So it might not be that fast. It's got a pretty big loadout. Like the bandits that I've seen, the fast ones have like got like what? Like one ATM-9 or three medium pulse lasers, something like that. So it's like not a lot of weight, but that... Uh, I think that clan plasma cannon is actually five tons plus at least a ton of ammo, so six tons right there. And then all the other weapons. Ooh, see ya! That's a lot of machine guns. <laughs> yes! Punish them! Alright, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Still around five, so half the battle's over. And they've lost about half of their mechs. That Hunchback 2C, though, could end anybody at any time, so that's going to be a, uh, that's the guy that we have to, like, murder fast. Although I don't think he's got a lot of armor. Actually, he's only got one Ultra 20, so he might have an okay amount of armor, especially if he's a slow mover. Yeah, because the Clan Ultra 20, I think, is only 12 tons. It saves a couple tons over the Inner Sphere version. So you're going around the outside. Yes. Is that an ultra, ultra five? Oh, There's a bunch of ultra Let's two, go. ultra twenties. Or I mean, ultra twos. Quad gun, heavy rotary AC two. Nice. It's jammed though, so that's all right. We'll take that damage that he did. Turn twenty. Who's going? Thorn or the Falcon? I mean. Fourteen on that side. Fourteen. Yeah, probably. Falcon? Mongoose. Orders. Okay, let's just keep backing up a little bit here. Just like that. Position confirmed. We're going to shoot the mongoose. 
We're in a very low pressure part of this match, I think. Um, let's leave it all on. We're in the low par low pressure part of this match where these guys aren't quite around to do any damage and these guys don't have much left, so. All right, that firefly is gonna be no uh, worries. He's gonna keep moving like that. Now is this Jenner the same as the one that we had on this side? It is, it's the streak version. All right, gotta be wary of that guy. Gotta make sure our vehicles are pulled back here. I'm here. Mm, can we? Just to ensure that we don't walk through the uh, fire here. Affirmative. I can't afford any extra heat on this guy. It's such a hot mech as it is, you know. Uh, yeah, let's just go all in on him. Let's just try and take this guy down. Okay, a little bit of pen. It's nice. But that hurt. We got what? The two vehicles? They got the Sentinel still? Yeah, we might be able to pull the Mongoose down, plus our turrets. Who knows? The laser turret might be able to finish him off. You should be able to kill this guy, and then maybe we can hunt down the, uh... Oof. Really want that turret. Maybe we can hunt down this guy over here, the Falcon. We'll see how it goes against the Locust, though. Fire and maneuver, baby. Fire and maneuver. Where did you go, though? Okay, went back that way. Still 14, eh? So this is our locust that we're tracking down. He's dropping heat. You know what? Fuck him. What's up, boss? Actually, if Smirk kills this guy here... Actually, where are you damaged? On the other side. So we want to shoot him from the front. Come back up here. Copy that. If Smirk kills this guy... Then we'll probably hunt that locust down, but if he doesn't, I'm bringing the viper back. Viper is like starting to get way out of position here. Okay, good damage. Yeah, viper's coming back. We're gonna bring him around here. Ooh, yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna drop heat too. Two vehicles might be able to take this guy. When's our, when does the Viper go? I don't hear in a second. Yeah, I mean, do I really want the Locust parts, though? That's a lot of lasers. Okay, he's backing up. I hear ya. Keep some you speed. Better. Keep some evasion if we can. Get on this guy. Don't think we're going to hit, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, yeah, nice. A little bit of damage. Keep it up. Want some more? Huh? I don't think that he does. Yes. All right, well, we're going after the Locust then. I was going to move back, but... Uh, Standing by. Alright, time to get around this side. I'm gonna fire at the Hunchback 2C. I mean, really, that's... Other than the Bandit here, which has got a half-decent amount of armor. 881. This guy's got less armor. So I think we're gonna try... We'll just shoot at the Hunchback. If we can eventually kill this guy, great. If we can't, well... No big deal. I don't know how much more we can get salvage-wise. We got four turns left, so 
If their vehicles don't move up, we can't get much. Because if we were to go around that corner and expose on that side, Commander. that's pretty bad for us. I really want to do this. Let's do that. Let's do this to get ahead of them next turn. Let's do this. Yeah, a little too much. Let's drop all our heat this turn. Well, if we hit though, we get a, we're gonna get a kill shot here probably. Oh, what if I turn it off and just opens us? Uh, let's go this route. It, next turn, it's gonna open us up for being able to use everything. All right, we did some good damage. Yes, right. Commander. Oh, you're up. Yeah, you can take a shot from that Falcon. And now we can go this route. Good to go. Yes. Enemy down. Screw you. I love it when a plan comes together. Alright, we'll leave that guy to kill the Falcon. The rest of us are we're heading to the other side now. I mean, I guess we could go out back and try and kill that Jenner, but I really want the parts from the, uh... Either the Bandit or the Hunchback, one of the two. Plus the uh, vehicles are going to help me with the Falcon on this side, so... We have five guys, they've got five guys. I mean... We're only going to have a handful of turns. I mean, if we stay back far enough out of the Ultra Trunk 20's range, we might, Extreme might, be able to pull that Hunchback down. Because we do have the range on him. The guy changed his target. You changed your target! Yeah, it's weird because like when the vehicle's got more hit points. Hey. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do anything but move. Full speed sounds good. Right through the fire. Uh-huh. But we're not shooting this turn, probably not next turn either, so. Drop a bunch of heat. Yeah, I mean the vehicle's got a lot of armor, so trying to pen it is difficult, and you're most likely, I mean. Most likely to hit the same area, but I, I find it just slightly easier to pull a mech down sometimes with the same amount of armor. Commander. Um. Get around here. We got the range on him, so let's use it. Now, um, I don't think you've got. That's an. I think that's an SRM. His missile's not working. You got an LRM5, I know that. And the Hunchback doesn't have anything for range, I don't think. ER medium. So, yeah, I mean, we got the range. We'll do the same thing with the Spectre. We'll back up over here. Not the Spectre, the uh, Wavering. Bandit's backing up. Yeah, this Hunchback is never going to get around this corner to be able to attack these guys. So we're going to have to attack him from range. Hopefully do some damage. I mean, he did his job. He pulled one building down, so we, we lose maximum uh, payout. So he did his job. Just everybody else is not pulling their weight. Although the Clints did a pretty good job doing some damage on this. 
Yeah, you better back up. I'm coming for you. Unless this guy comes in to help. He's got a snub. It'd be nice to have that. Commander. All right, Dragoni. All right, full speed. Where's that hunchback? There you are. Let's fire the thumper because we can. Confirmed. Firing. That might slow him down. He might move to a walk next turn. Alright, Hunter, full speed up this way. We want to try and get into a direct fire position at long range. Just keep the pressure on this guy. We may get a kill. Like, I mean, that's from the Thumper, unfortunately. We can't get behind him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We might get lucky and open up something. After a couple turns, Waiting on you, it'd be awesome if we just managed to get the, uh, that way I can get, I'll take the damage, it's fine. Going turbo. Alright, mortar it is. We got, what, airburst and standard. We're almost at a standard, but we'll fire it. All right, spread that damage. <laughs> Whatever we can get. Yeah, you got his attention, Jenner. You got his attention. Go! Oh. <laughs> oh, that turret. That's brutal. What now? Uh, I'm gonna bring you to here this turn. I may push my luck with the, uh, depending where the hunchback goes. I might push my luck with this guy on the hunchback. We, I think at full speed, we might be able to dart in, do a vigilance, and then dart out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I may try it. If we can get the kill on that hunchback on round 10. So we're around 8 now. we got two more after this. I don't know if we've got enough to kill him from range, and I don't think we've got the ability to, too. I don't think there's a, enough of a line of sight because that hill's in the way there. Oh, shooting in retaliation. I don't blame you. That fucking quad gun nailed your ass. He nailed your ass. If the Viper's fast enough, we might be able to get over there and capitalize on that, but I doubt it. We got three rounds for the Viper to move. He's not at full speed. It's going to take a couple of rounds to kill that hunter. Got something you want done? I do. Ah, well, let's get in the open over the here. Confirmed. Set up on that hunchback. So we got what? Two more turns after this. So we'll use the thunderbolt in the two turns after this. Ooh! Oh, they all hit. <laughs> nice. He's standing in trees, though. I think he's braced, too. So he only took he took 40% less damage. But still, everything hit. Standing by. And that guy's like, fuck this noise. I'm getting up against the wall. These guys are shooting at us. These guys are shooting at us. Actually, I'm going to go here if I can. Try and get around these trees if I can, if I can do that. All right, firing on this guy. Here it comes. Yeah, it's too bad he's in. The, he's braced in those trees. Order. All right, kiddo. Uh, we got some hunting to do. Yep. I ain't afraid no snub. Yeah, we can't go all out. Let's just go this route. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's a start. 
It's the start. Nothing. I don't think we'll kill the, the Falcon in two turns. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. If they shoot him with the thumper and he becomes unstable and, he, and we are able to knock his ass down, good chance we could take him. Someone's got a large. What is that guy? Oh, he's firing his medium. Oh, he's moved out. Okay. What can I do for you? I don't think you're going to get to a position to fire that gun unless you go this way. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. I want to get the main gun going, but I can't do it unless I can get around this damn corner. Hunchback's in the open. We've stripped some armor. We have good. Oh, we, both of the torsos were hit. Uh, I'm going to switch to air burst only because I'll get six rounds instead of four on them. Oh, hit hit a couple mechs over here too. Or hit this guy. Yeah, we're barely doing anything. We got to be able to see him straight on. It's a toss-up whether I like the mortar six or the LRM ten on this thing. Standing by. All right, can you get a direct lost on this guy? You cannot because he's behind the hill now. Fuck. Let's get up as far as we can go. We may come around here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ooh, sweetness. Yeah, man. Keep that damage up. Hopefully that artillery piece fires over here. I messed the camera up, sorry. That was my bad. There we go. 12, Hunter. Okay, see what he does. Keep calling him a Hunter. Falcon. I mean, I could be calling the Winter Soldier, but... Ooh, you decided to fight. Nice. So Peeps in his right right arm. Right arm? Pretty sure it's in the right arm. Yes. I'll, I'll laugh if the turrets kill this fucking Jenner. It'll be so satisfying if they murder his ass. Alright. Now, um... I'm here. Do I want to risk it against this fucking hunchback? That's the question. If we want the hunchback, I gotta go after him. If we go here, that opens up more opportunities for our guys to shoot. Now, what do we have in this arm? We got a medium pulse laser in each arm, I think, right? We could try and sacrifice an arm. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't want to hit the back of my guy if I'm shooting in this direction too, right? So let's put it like this. Glory if we lose, a, if we lose a uh, medium pulse, I'm okay if we kill the hunchback. So let's go all in. Let's actually vigilance too. We'll go all in on him. If I want to kill him, I gotta go after him, so let's do it. Okay, good damage. Not as many hits as I was hoping, but good damage. We won the battle. All I gotta do is think about salvage now, so. And we're out of position, I think, for that guy. Now, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I have a jump yet on this sentinel or not. If we can get up higher, up, up here, it may be better. You're running. I don't blame you. Those turrets have punished your ass. It's probably better if the turrets don't kill him because then it's just... I can focus more. If I can kill the hunchback, I'll get better salvage for... I can get more... Waiting on you, more chance of getting hunchback stuff. Alright. Um, yep. Ordinance received. Commence 
Commencing alpha strike. Yes, good damage. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Blast the double heat sink. I mean, not that it matters. We're at the end of the battle anyway. Yeah, we've got him opened here now. Theoretically, his, his uh, ammo is in that torso. I don't know if it's, if it's actually in the same in that torso in the 2C, but I, I'm like almost 100% sure it's that way for most hunchbacks. So, who do we want to go back? Back strike. We've got the Vigilance, let's use it. Bomb. Let's use it. Let's see what we can do against, against this guy. we got a couple turns left. we got a good chance to hit. Let's take it because we have no idea what the next turn is going to be like. Bomb. Yes! Fuck you! Mech destroyed. My god, this Viper is insane. Yeah, you better back up. Oh, shit. Well. Nice shooting. Gotta give him credit. Give him credit where credit's due. That was nice shooting. Can we get... Here. Hopefully we don't lose the Zoria. Alright, let's see if we can get a Thunderbolt hit on this guy. We did. Good damage, but not that quite enough. Something good. I'm here. You cannot. That's not the hunchback we see. We're still not quite in range. If I go here, you know what? We're gonna go here. Confirmed. Cause next turn, I think I can round this corner and be a little closer to him and do more damage. Engaging with target. All right. His ammo's gone, I think, now. He might have ammo elsewhere, but I don't think so. I think that's it for his ammo, for his Ultra 20. Yeah, he's down. His Ultra 20's down. So I don't have to worry about that now. Yeah, you better run. But, ah, shit. I was going to say, survive! I want you to fire one more time, but... All right. Yeah, you better run. Oh, that's our prowler. Never mind. Don't run. Stay in the battle. <laughs> I need you here. Ready for orders. Got it. That board's going all in now. Might as well. I want this guy down. I want him down and gone. Let's get it all on him. On it. Great damage. Scored a critical hit. Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, it's so glorious. Now this Jenner has to go. He's been damaged enough. I think we might be able to take him. I don't think we could... Yeah, everybody else Let's is go. too far away. Let's go! Last turn. He's coming back. Ooh, the Viper might be able to get a shot at him. I doubt it. I think he's too far away, but... What? No. Can you... Maybe we just... Uh, well, it's not going to matter. You say so. Alright, we'll do what we can. Prowler's got too much armor, I think. Doesn't have much left. Let's just go after this guy. I don't think he's got a lot of armor. Yeah, it's mediocre. Fire it all, because it's the last Fire. turn. Wow, we hit that corner a lot. Did we destroy the block there? No, I think it's just... I think it's just glitching. I think it's just glitching. It's on fire, though. Receiving you. Where is that... Yeah, we're out of range of everything, I think. Uh, just in case, I don't know where that Firefly is going, so let's reserve. 
If he comes towards me, we may get a shot at him. I think he's probably outside of our range, though. Even if at full, full speed, he might still be outside our range. I'm shocked we got that hunchback. But that was a lot of machine gun hits. Like, a lot of machine gun hits, so... Well, too little, little, a uh, little, look at that, too little, too late. Actually, did we go after you or the Jenner? We got 20 on you. Thirteen on you, but you're like... Is there a chance for a kill on this guy? I doubt it, but let's... Roger. Who knows, our turret might do something. If we can open up something, I don't know. Give it a shot anyway. You're not close enough. Ready for orders. Yeah, no point in moving. We can't get anything else. We'll just fire at this guy. Oh, we got one hit, two hits. Wow, you're hitting a lot of low percentile shots. I'm out of long range missiles. This match, he's, that smirk has been hitting a lot of low percentile shots. You know, it's funny, like, that's why I like keeping the, the same pilots in the same vehicles, like, in the same everything, because then it's like, you really get a sense of what the pilot's doing, you know? When they're do when they're in the same, like, same vehicle, same everything all the time, you get a sense of what they what they do, right? It's just, I don't know, I find it very interesting. Yeah, we'll take both shots here. I know we're gonna overheat, but... Nothing. That's fine. No joy. That's alright, you've already killed what? Two mechs? Three mechs? Receiving you. I'm gonna shoot the Jenner. We have more of a chance to, uh... Confirmed. To finish this guy off. We're not gonna, but... No luck. Just depends if the turrets can do it or not. We'll see. Oh, you chose the wrong target. Damn it! Maybe you couldn't see the Jenner. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Wow. Viper got four kills. That thing is crazy good. I mean, two solo kills. I got the he got the locust and the um, the falcon later on. Killed the guy on the ground. Killed one of the clints. Like that's that's just brutal. I love this thing. Now we're gonna see how it does in the future. But I'm loving the loadout on this thing. All right, let's see what we get salvage wise here. So uh, we can go to storage and we can see the parts that we have, which is awesome. Thank you everybody for that. Now the XJ. Definitely going to take a part of that, because we can put one of those together. Um, do we want a Clint 2C with the LBX? No, I think we're going to... I'm going to look down here for components. Like, we could get more mechs and stuff, but we're having a problem with all the mechs that we have right now, keeping them in battle. So I'm going to move down. I want to see if I can find... That's actually not a bad get. LB10Xs are not bad. LRM10 is not bad. Uh, because of the weight, there's an Ultra 20, which we already have one. Now, the question is... Well, we'll wait till we get down there. We're just going to say the question is, is do we have ammo for it? We've got plenty of endo. XL engines, we've got one. I don't think we need... Oh, energy accuracy. I'm going to grab that. We have several energy builds that are benefit from that, so... Artemis clan. We've got one already. Two Pharaoh. I think we've got... Yeah, we got lots of Pharaoh. Double heat sink kits. We should be okay. We got one. We have double heat sinks? Yeah, we got 16. Plenty of them. Um, be nice if we could get some clan double heat sinks. Oh, range finder. Uh, I'm going to drop that in. Tracker sensors. Going to drop that in. Uh, let's see here. Ultra 20 ammo. Now, do we have any? We've got one ton. It's going to be a while before we're able to field, like... Hmm. 
I'm going to put it there for now. Artemis ammo. We've got one LBX-10 cluster. We've got tons, so we don't need any of that. HE. This is for knocking mechs down, right? Oh, it's area effect. Jam chance, though. But still... Direct hit damage reduced 75, so it does zero on a direct hit. Huh, but it does AoE damage. Interesting. Maybe the other half ton. How many is this? Two rounds? Three shots. That would give us 13 rounds for an Ultra 20. I would rather not, though. What else can we grab here? I mean, we, uh, we need C bills, so I can grab this for the money. 250 core. Got one already. So, yeah, I think we're probably pretty good with the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, we're in clan space. We're finding a lot of clan gear. I'm not really worried about the gear per se. Another medium pulse. The LRM 10, though. It's a two and a half time. Maybe. I'm going to do this with it. Oh, four ER mediums. We've already got three, though. I'm going to do that with it. I'm going to pull it out. And then I'm going to take a Clan XL engine. And just see if that... Because we need the C-bills. we got to make our financial report. I want to make sure we have it now in case we take damage then at least we've already got our financial report and then I don't have to worry about money coming up. Um, but yeah, that adding the item to here and then having it taken out more times than not, like it's a higher than 50% chance, but it actually usually shows up in the here, but let's figure it out. Now that I said it, it won't, but who knows. Okay, Clint 2C part, Huntsman part, one Jenner part, one Locust part, two Locust parts, Mongoose, ER large laser, got one Clan Flamer, Let's hold on to that. Medium pulse. Two small lasers. I think we can just probably get rid of those. The streaks. I don't think we're ever going to use streaks. Mm. Let's hang on to them. Beagle probe. 250 core. Let's hold on to it. The Clan XL we're going to sell for that big juicy fat money. Uh, 28 small jump jets. I don't think we need those. We can sell those. The Omni arm we'll hold on to. Standard fusion core can go. Structure can go. LBX-10 ammo. Let's just sell it. Streak will hold on to. And ultra... Yeah, we didn't get it. So, that's actually... I mean, it's a great roll, but whenever you're fighting the clans, you usually get a good roll anyway, so... Alright, well, we made a lot of sea builds on that. A little bit of time here for repairs. 10 days is not too bad. Let's make sure we're getting the... Hatchetmen and the... Battle Cobra back sooner rather than later. So that's like, what, seven days till these guys are back. And let's bring up this guy so it'll go into repairs as soon as the Battle Cobra is done. So this will be down to five days. And then these guys, so yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. But we still have a second Lance too, right? Like we got a whole another Lance we could run, which I might do. Um, because we're getting some good sea bills here. So we got eight days before we are, I can run the other mission, which you'll probably have seen before you see this one. Um, or maybe not. I don't I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see. Because um, then we've got uh, our second lance down here that we can take hey, out. Commander. Be with you in a Depending second. on the mission, we'll see what we have. But we got to get this guy going at some point. I mean, I could pull that hunchback forward just to see what it's got. We're not paying out that much monthly. We're like 1.2 or something. Yeah, so if this guy... This guy's an Omni, right? Yeah. So with um, maxed armor, what are we looking at here? 12 tons of weapons? 13, 13 and a half tons? No, 12 and a half tons with maxed armor. Mass jump jets. Yeah, not bad. I'm sure I could figure out a loadout for this guy. Do we have ammo for the plasma cannon? 
Maybe it's like a plasma cannon and some flamers or something. We do. It could be a plasma cannon and some flamers, or if we have, uh... We have SRM Inferno ammo. We could put, like, some SRMs and some Inferno. Turn this guy into an overheater. Because we don't need much for that. We've got, like, three clan flamers that are, what, half a ton each? Now, they're not as good as the Inner Sphere, I don't think, are they? About the same, 10 and 10? 9 heat, 190, or 180 meters. Yeah, pretty much the same, did they just weigh less? So maybe we can cram a few of those in. Clam plasma cannons, what, six tons? Three tons. So it's really lightweight. Oh yeah, we could turn this guy into an overheater, no problem. You know, and then maybe throw in a medium improved heavy laser. You know, as a, as a fighting weapon. Or some pulses or something. Yeah, I think we got, I mean, we're really going to depend on how much heat we can tolerate. Or maybe we just go with, like, if we have to get in close for the flamers anyway, we could go with micro, micro lasers. Or micro pulses or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let me know what you guys think. How much is that? 354,000. Let's hold off right now until we see what our funds are like. We got a few more battles to run, I think, before we do that. But let's go to storage. I want to bring forward that uh, hunchback. Because I'm interested to see what we can get here. Limb repair. So not a lot. 50% chance for item recovered. I don't think this guy is a uh, Omni mech. I think it's just a uh, regular mech. Oh yeah, we didn't lose the Zoria either. Which is nice. Because uh, I was actually concerned about that. Even though I had forgotten about it. Um, let's refeed this guy. Looks like the CT might be completely toast here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty toast. Is it really? Is it, it's a 50 ton structure. We got a clan double heat sink. It's got clan stuff in the in the head. Is it worth throwing together? 471,000. I'm thinking I'm just going to trash it. Although it is a 50 ton mech. So, I mean. Four laser, one ballistic. Fire support, I mean. We got the Ultra 20. It's only 12 tons, right? Yeah. What is this thing with the 250 core? Um, just messing around a little, little bit here before we finish up the episode. If we go that route. And then we go with a, I, I don't want to have the money for a Klein XL, but I'm just going to see what we can, what else we can do to mitigate uh, weight here. So if we go with a 250 core, that gives us a 5.8 movement. And then we can go with XL gyro, which is giving us 20 tons, 21 tons. So that is, po that is a possibility to go with this if i max out the armor how much weight is that that's still a fair bit so and then we have the ammo we don't have a lot of ammo that's the thing right so it would be one of those things where we'd have to get it into position if and then if we if we're okay to fire once or twice we got half loads of it too right so oh these are double loads 12 shots per bin. Oh, I had double loads. I completely forgot I had double loads. Well, there you go. Right? We could go that route. 24 shots has 12 turns of firing. Or we could just dial it back a bit. Because we're not going to get a chance to shoot it all the time. That's what, 5 shots? Save a half ton. That gives us 10 turns of firing, saving a half ton. We're gonna need definitely gonna need a uh, definitely gonna need a um, double heat sink kit. Uh, do we go clan? We have a clan double heat sink in there, so let's drop that in. And then weapon wise, a bunch of lasers, something with some range. You know, at least a player of ER mediums. 
It's killing our heat, though. But don't we have exchangers? Yeah, we do. It almost seems a waste to use an exchanger on this thing, but... So this minus one recoil with ranged weapons... Does that apply to something in the torso, or is that arms only? Because it doesn't really just say, it just says minus one recoil with ranged weapons. So, if I put this in, am I still getting the minus one recoil for the Ultra? It's an interesting question. Although, of course, going this road too, we don't have any, um, we don't have any electronics in this thing. So while it's not a, I mean, really you'd want to go with, um, yeah, that was my cat. It's, it's, it's the, uh, wishing hour running around going crazy time. Really you'd want to go this route, right? <laughs> We're already up like two and a half million, 48 days. And with this gone, Still 45 days in a million, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a possibility. If we're going to start hitting up of our weight, too, we're going to need something that can actually hit above its weight, which is this thing. So I think for now, let's actually strip the gear. And that is the just the repairs. Man, it's going to sit there forever. I wonder if before we do this... I wish I could just... put it back into storage. i got to fix it first, though, unfortunately. How close are we to getting the uh, third mech bay? Because I really think we need that now. Um, we need... What do we need for this? Structural reinforcement, which is here. Sure is that it? It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Is that all we need for that? I guess it is. Okay, well, let's get that done. I always thought you had to have the third habitat pod in order to get this, but I guess I'm thinking something else, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's go that route, and then we'll we'll get this. We'll work towards that. Once we have the third mech bay up and running, then actually outfitting the new mechs is not going to be an issue because we'll have that third bay to just, like, just dedicate to, like, any mechs that we decide to put together. We'll always have it in the third bay being built and just use the first two bays to repair the mechs that we currently have when we're fighting. That way shit gets done. Otherwise, it just keeps getting pushed back in the queue. But anyways, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know whether that that duel will be shown before this or after this, but whatever it ends up being, um, the next mission I'm going to play for these guys will be Lance 2. And I'll pick something appropriate, probably something for Wolf here, maybe like the One Skull here, escort mission or something like that. We'll try them out, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.